Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a big update with the Donald J. Trump lawyers that we're going to be discussing today. So uh, if you support Donald J. Trump, thumbs up the video and comment down below that you support Donald Trump. All right, before we jump in, <laughs> we're going to pray and read the Bible because God comes first. You guys like my new t-shirt? Will be available on my store on October 1st this Sunday. Just saying, almost getting ready to get that store live. Link below to check out. Okay, here we go. This comes from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. One of you guys commented that this Bible verse actually inspired you to join a group or create a group where you pray twice a day at 714 because of this Bible verse. I didn't know that. I thought that was cool. I'm learning new things from you guys all the time. This is 2nd Book of Chronicles 7.14. Let's listen to this together. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. Common amen if you believe that. I love that. Yeah, that is a really powerful verse. So thank you to whoever wrote that story about how you pray twice a day at 714. Um, because if you pray, God literally says, I will forgive their sin and hear, heal their land. So like, maybe we could all come together and start doing that twice a day at 714. So we have some massive updates with the Donald Trump lawyers, Donald J. Trump and Joe Biden. And even Shakira, if you guys know Shakira, apparently she's being charged with tax evasion and is potentially facing prison time. She owes the Spanish government $7.1 million in taxes. Uh, if you don't know this woman, it, she's the Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you dance like that, you may want to speak Spanish, Shakira. Yeah, apparently she could be going to prison. Who would have thought Shakira's been hit with tax evasion charges for a second time in Spain? But Spanish prosecutors charged the pop star with failing to pay 6.7 million euros or 7 million bucks on taxes. Holy crap. Shakira allegedly used an offshore company to avoid paying the taxes. The hips don't lie singer currently lives in Miami has been notified of the latest charge. You know what's crazy is a lot of these elite people it's not, a lot of times it's not even their own fault. It's the people they hire to manage their money. Everybody says, oh, when you make a bunch of money, get a money guy, get a money woman, get a, uh, an accountant, get a, somebody who does this. And it's like, or you get somebody to, to invest for you, a financial advisor. And it's like, a lot of these people, they they give you bad advice because, you know, Shakira, she probably makes 20, 30, 50 million dollars a year. And all of a sudden you have this, uh, I'm not blaming I'm not blaming her accountant or anybody. I don't know the story at all But I'm just saying let's say let's not use Shakira for example. Let's use uh, Justin Bieber for example, right? Let's say Justin Bieber makes 50 million bucks a year and kids 16 17 18 years old He gets somebody and they say oh set up an offshore account or set up an account in Delaware or, You know high file in Puerto Rico blah 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 and you know, you're just a dude. You don't know and I mean It's not like Shakira or Justin Bieber is an expert in finances. So they're just like Sounds good. All right, hopefully it's fine. And then boom, she's potentially facing prison time? I mean, I like Shakira, come on. Now listen to this, my friends. Donald J. Trump's attorneys are blasting special counsel's gag order request in federal election case. So it takes two to tango, baby. <laughs> you know the whole, uh, update with um, Donald J. Trump and them trying to put him in prison and get him legally. By the way, this is our, my mom uh, had this idea. This this shirt will be available also and a hoodie as well. God bless America, amen. I just ordered this one to wear, so I should be wearing this. Fortunately, it's not gonna get here till next week, but I'm looking forward to that. Um, so join the email list below where you will get discounts and stuff. But attorneys for Donald J. Trump urged a judge not to impose a partial gag order on the former president in his federal election case. They accused special counsel Jack Smith. Who's Jack Smith? 
Special Counsel Jack Smith and other federal prosecutors of seeking to strip Trump of his First Amendment rights. They claim the administration of Joe Biden, who is running for re-election, is trying to muzzle its main opponent. Oh, wow. Attorneys for Do So basically because Joe Biden's going to run again, it kind of puts... See, Donald J. Trump's smart. His lawyers are smart. That's why you want to listen. And that's why Trump people trust Donald J. Trump. Trump is actually leading a double-digit lead over Biden in a new election found. Can you believe that after Trump, all these things are going down? Donald J. Trump, 10-point lead over Joe. Joe Biden is unpopular in three main issues. Age, border security, and the economy, which is just, you know, these are basically, besides his age, obviously he can't control that. I mean, it's kind of like... It's probably not going to improve. I'm talking about his speaking and his ability to lead and be motivating. Um, you, you look at old videos of Joe Biden speaking. I mean, he, he looks like a completely different person. He's, he's speaking well. He's arguing stuff. There's even a video clip of him arguing about how he's against gay marriage. And he's totally like arguing something that to, in today he would totally not uh, argue. Look at this clip I have. I gotta, I gotta show you guys. I got a lot of, lot of crazy clips. I don't, I got, I got these saved here on my phone. Listen to this one. Gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. That is basically a decision to be able to be left to the face and people to practice their face determination what you call it. I mean, he look, he's speaking completely different than how he speaks now. And he's speaking against gay marriage. Oh, we definitely do not agree in gay marriage. It's like, okay, you know, it's kind of a big topic to flip-flop on, but look at him now. Look at the way he talks now. You're going to pay somewhere between 20 and 40% less than those other countries. Same exact drug made by the same exact company. He's has a clip of him yelling randomly while he's talking. I mean, this is scary. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Between 20 and 40 percent less than those other countries. Same exact drug. Oh my made god. By the same exact company. Oh my god. No wonder kids are scared of him. Got them. 1.9 trillion dollars relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for child care. A lot. Got them. 1.9 trillion. Oh my god. This is so creepy. It's so creepy. Oh, this one, this one, he got exposed for holding a, a, a card with notes giving detailed instructions. You remember this one? President Biden's cheat sheet. He literally tipped his hand, showing a card with step-by-step -step instructions. You enter the- Yeah, the, literally, he showed his instructions. <laughs> he held up the card backwards. Or up, uh, yeah, backwards. You enter the Roosevelt room and say hello. He literally had to have instructions to go, oh, enter this room and say hello. And then there was one with you say your name, you give brief comments, then you depart, you thank participants, you depart. I mean, this is stuff that a child should know. You just, yeah, you, as you leave, you say thanks. It's so freaking weird, bro. So weird. The media, but you may have to turn up the volume. Oh yeah, he's like whispering all the time. But anyways, um, so Joe, uh, so Donald J. Trump is doing incredibly well. There's a new poll that the Washington Post and ABC, ironically enough, released, is saying that if the presidential election were held today, Trump would win 52% to 42% over Biden. Respondents also held a poor view of Biden's handling of the economy and the U.S.-Mexico border in addition to his age. Remember, just remember that Joe Biden recently celebrated the IRA, a one-year anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act. Keep in mind the Democrats and Joe Biden celebrated how they've been doing so well reducing inflation. I mean, even the most liberal of liberal citizen would say, would be like, that's a, are you, is that a joke? Like, is this an SNL skit? You're celebrating how you're in reducing inflation with all the money you're sending overseas to Ukraine. 
and you're you're trying to forgive student loans and all the stimulus checks and unemployment benefit federal unemployment benefits 600 bucks a week you pass just to basically anybody who just wanted to check a box saying oh i don't want to work and you're gonna celebrate that you reduced inflation bro and how difficult it is now i mean he's so out of touch with everyday americans if you ask any everyday american oh is it hard to pay rent or if you had to move today because a lot of people they're kind of fine now but once you have people who have to move or have to relocate or landlords start raising rents to like so many people are in good rent situations or good living situations i myself and one of them i was able to purchase a home about a year and a half ago before mortgage rates rose like crazy so if I had to move now, I would be like, this is insane. Like, this is insanity. And like the price of car, the average new new car payment is 800 bucks a month. The average American, when they buy a new car, they're paying $800 a month. No wonder people are struggling. Uh, groceries are insane. You're going to spend 100, 200 bucks when you go to the grocery store now. And don't get me started if you want to eat organic. Yeah, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month. If you want to eat healthy food, oh well, yeah, go buy chips and soda. Sure, you'll save some money, but you want to buy fresh veggies and fruits and juice? Oh yeah, no. So anyways, those are the major updates with Donald J. Trump. I will keep you guys up to date, but yeah, the attorneys for Donald Trump have urged a judge not to impose a partial gag order on the former president in his federal uh, election case, claiming that the prosecutors are trying to unconstitutionally silence him. So... I will keep you guys up to date with their response. Thanks for watching, my friends. Check out my link below to godcomesfirst.com. Enter your email. The new clothing site will be live on October 1st, this Sunday. And if you enter your email below, you'll get a little special gift. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk soon.